Salut everyone, as I'm recording this video right now, I feel like I should not be doing it. But on the other hand, my integrity tells me that I have to do it because I've seen a lot, lot, lot of nonsense for the last like three or four days since the Apex Legends Linux ban. And I, I think that there is one point that really needs to be clarified. Let's get into it. As always, let's start with a little bit of context. I already made two videos about the subject related to cheating, Apex Legends, and anti-cheat on Linux. And this one will be my last, I hope. I hope it's gonna be my last. But I I've seen and read a lot of stuff on the forum, and I've seen some videos, and I think there is a lot more that need to be said about the actual like cheating situation on Linux. So before we get into it, I want to clarify like some point. The first thing is that by doing this video, I don't want to endorse the decision that Electronic Arts has made by cutting the Linux gamer from paying the game. I'm still against it. I would have hoped they will put like more resource and more effort and also like just more will to let the Linux gamer play so this is my first point it's really important uh I'm, I'm i'm not saying they made the right decision but you will see in the in the next part of the video it's it's actually like shocking my second point is that i want to make clear is that i'm against any type of cheating in any multiplayer game guys if you cheat you're a piece of trash okay i'm gonna be saying straight to you if you are cheating in a multiplayer video game, you are literally running the fun of everybody else for a little bit of satisfaction because you don't have the skill to do whatever the cheat is giving you. You are trash. Okay, I, I want to make that straight. I, I just despise those guys. Okay, and I know that sometimes talking about cheat, it's kind of like promoting cheat in general, even if I'm totally against cheat. But I feel like now, Apex Legend is dead on Linux. I can talk about it anyways. But again, I want to be clear, like I'm, I'm, I'm against cheater and cheating in general. Now, point number three, if you want to know my stand on, you know, my first reaction on how like I, I perceive Apex Legend Linux ban, I made a video about that, but also like what could be the reaction from Valve toward the actual like anti-cheat crisis on Linux. I made a second video on that. I'm going to put the link in the description below if you want to know everything. I don't want to repeat myself in this third video. Like I don't want to, you know, like farm content about this topic because it, it's kind of like not my style. But all the rest of the content is in this previous video. So I really encourage you to go watch them. This video is going to be really giving you a, a different perspective on how easy it is to cheat on Linux and what we felt that, you know, like was really hard or, you know, just a small amount of people were actually cheating on Linux might actually not be true. And really, I want to show you how easy it was to cheat on Apex Legend. I was not really aware of it. I thought it would be a little bit harder than that, to be fair. But if you were a uh, cheater on Apex Legend, I would say that Linux would be the easiest way and cheapest way to get any type of like cheat running on Apex Legend. And this is, after my little finding, something that can be denied. So let me explain. I start to make some research this weekend and it took me less than five minutes to find seven different type of cheat which were like free on linux so I'm, I'm not going to you know uh put everything clear here i think i'm going to blur the screen because again even if it's gone I'm, I'm not going to promote this this bs on my channel but the fact is it took me five minutes for a total newbie in terms of cheating like i never cheated in my life like again i repeat it i despise them but it took me five minutes to find 
seven different sheets. They are all of them. They were open source. I think expect one. So, so there were like six open source one. One which was closed source, but the dev was actually saying like, oh, I'm going to open source it uh, when I feel okay about it. And I was like, what? Uh, it, like, this is insane. Most of them, they are available on GitHub. Like, they, they are there. GitHub, the source are there. You compile them yourself. You have a readme that explain you what to do. It's, it's just insane. Like, I, I just lost some, like, mind while, you know, digging into that because I never thought it would be that easy to cheat on Linux. Now, what if is, is even more crazy because because this is just the beginning. If you look at the way like they make cheat and the discussion on the forum, because I, I went to a, to a forum which was like 200, I think like 10 pages about one cheat where people are exchanging like, what is the best distro for gaming? Uh, how to install it? Like, I'm not kidding. Like those guys, they were like Windows user, but when they understood like the cheat was available on Linux, they literally switch to Linux to run the game with cheats. And in my head, I was like, no, there is no way. But yes, they did it. Like, I didn't have the perception of a cheater trying so hard to get the, their cheat working. So that was the first thing. Like, I was really impressed by that. But the second point that kind of like struck me is the fact that when I was going through the forum and all those discussions, it was clear to my eyes that those cheaters they understand that EAC was super weak on Linux compared to Windows for a lot of different reasons. And, and certainly like the main like clear one that I can explain to you, it's the way like Linux works kind of, and the way that all the users are comp like kind of like a compartment. And it's really hard to like transgress for obvious reason, uh, those paths between like user privileges. And they are literally abusing that. So that's the first point. And the second point is related to the open source of Linux, obviously, which kind of lets you do whatever you want on your machine. There is like, for example, like a simple like bash trip out there that gives you the opportunity to change your hardware ID. So what happened like on Apex Legend and also like a lot of different games, like if you get caught cheating, obviously your account is going to get banned but also your hardware. To do that, like every piece of hardware has a specific ID. If you launch the game with a specific ID and the anti-cheat on, if your ID has been banned, you're out. But guess what? On Linux, you can spoof this ID in like a, a little like bash script, which is going to take you like, like five seconds to go through, to understand and, and to tweak. And, and this is actually scary from, you know, a developer standpoint. And again, like, I still believe that EA should have done more about this problem, but you have to see the other side of the situation, right? So now you understand, right? Like, I, th I think like all the Linux users out there, they need to have a, a real like clever approach when it comes to cheating. Because what I've read in this forum, when I, when I see all the trends related to all the anti-cheat games which are getting shut down one after the other. We can just not say like, oh yeah, it's Microsoft <laughs> paying, uh, you know, like those big companies like EA to uh, get rid of Linux because Linux is a threat. I, I don't think this is the case, guys. You know, I, I don't think this is the case. And again, this is just my own opinion. Like you can let me know in the comment below what you think. But when I see how easy it is to, to cheat, the fact that it's free and open source, like you can find the cheats out there, like it's nothing. Uh, some, again, like I, I'm going to repeat myself, some of them are in the AUR of Arch, okay? So so I'm like, like guys, like you need to be realistic about the situation. We have a problem. We have an issue related to cheating on Linux. So... I, I don't even know what to say after 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 recording this video. It's like I I, I wish I had a solution. I wish uh, you know someone would come with a solution. But what I've seen there, uh, I, I I have to say it. Like it, it, I don't think it's gonna work out. At least with the model that, for example, like EA was running for Apex Legend, like it's not going to work. 
I think those uh, publishers, they're going to have to do more, actually, like, innovation to make Linux multiplayer game possible. Because all those cheater gremlins, they are, like, killing all the fun there. And the fact it's so easy to run on Linux, it's actually scary. So, you know, when I see those comments saying, like, oh, yeah, but nobody's cheating on Linux, or, or they are so small, etc., etc., I don't have the number to back them up, okay? I don't have any numbers, but after watching the different forum, I can see that there is a demand for open source cheat. Like, there, there is a lot of demand. Because my, my first thought after finding all those different information was to go on the, the same forum and see for the other game. Like, I was thinking about the finals because it could be, you know, one of those multiplayer competitive games which are running on Linux. And it, it kind of shows that the finals, they have uh, a different approach compared to Apex Legends, which makes the, the cheats themselves harder uh, to code for the specific game on Linux. But what kind of like struck me is the fact that there were so many threads where there were some of those random like cheaters who were like, hey, I'm on Linux. I want a free cheat. I want to go there. Uh, what do you think? Like, is this cheat is going to be available for free for Linux? Because this is what I'm into. And I'm like, what? Like, I, it kind of like changed my perspective. I, I want to be honest with you guys. I, I, I knew they were cheaters on Linux, like any other platform, because you have to see it as it is, like there was cheaters everywhere. But I didn't expect it to be that big. Like, I, I think it's way bigger than we all thought before. That's... That's what like, I want you to, to think about watching this video is that, yes, it's really sad that Apex Legends got dumped. It's, it, it's really sad that us, Linux gamers in general, we have to deal with this. But on the other hand, you have to see the truth. And the truth is that the fact that those cheats, they are totally free, available out there. The fact they are so easy to install. The fact that the Linux platform itself is making their work easier you know like y y you have to see it so yeah that's all i want to conclude this this video I, I, there's no really any conclusion i think i'm gonna stop making video about anti-cheat on linux because i think i cover like every angle but i i wanted to share my uh findings there because it will be unfair to the actual dev you know, I, like I see a lot of comments being like, oh, those devs, uh, they, they are not uh, doing their job and etc. etc. And even me, I've been, I've been maybe a little bit rough uh, toward the guys. And I sincerely apologize because there is some, some part I, I didn't see. And, 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 I, and I legitimately thought that, you know, it will be easier to solve. But when I look at those forums, it kind of like make me conscious about the complexity of the issue and how much work is going to require to make those games really like safe uh, for uh, the Linux user and every other user, you know, different platform, but safe of cheater. It's, it's going to be a, a huge amount of work. So guys, I hope you like this video. Don't hesitate to give a thumbs up uh, subscribe to the channel, become a member of La Crème de la Crème Club on both Patreon and YouTube. Again, I want to thank all uh, the nice members there who helped me financially to continue this quest. But damn! Guys, like this has been a rough like five days for all the Linux competitive gamers out there. And I'm, I'm, I'm impatient for this to stop. Anyways, guys, have a great rest of your days and see you in the next one. Bisous, bisous.